Hi, uh, my name is Fatima Pashai. I live in the Coles District and my address is on file. Um, I come here today dressed as the Statue of Liberty, a welcoming symbol of freedom and democracy for the millions of people coming to America. Seeking a better life. At the base of the Statue of Liberty, there is a famous poem by Emma Lazarus, and I will read it to you. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe opens doors, not closes them. I myself am the, am the daughter of an immigrant from Iran and the wife of an immigrant from Pakistan. I didn't have to work for my US citizenship or pass, a t pass any test. My citizenship was conferred upon me at birth, as was yours. Consider yourself lucky. Immigrants, documented or undocumented, add value to our society. They work hard for what they have and they value the freedom and the liberty that our country offers. Immigrants, even the undocumented ones, pay a significant amount of taxes every year. They also frequent, frequent businesses in our neighborhoods and they help drive the local economy. A 2011 study by the Institute for Taxation and economic policy found that undocumented immigrants paid $11.2 billion in state and local taxes in 2010. If we push thousands of undocumented immigrants out of our county, we will lose money and a lot of it. But this is not just about money. It's about real people. Undocumented immigrants have jobs, homes, and families. They are children, mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, and grandparents. Can you go to sleep at night knowing that mother stating this is for families with mixed legal status, with documented and und undocumented immigrants living together? Trump said that he's not going to use ICE to deport. He's going to use ICE to deport violent criminals, but we know this is not happening. Do your police officers know what a legal resident versus, versus an illegal resident looks like? I don't. If our police force is going to start racially, is our police force going to start racially profiling brown people? Are all non-white residents going to start have to carry? Are are they going to have to start carrying around papers to prove that they are legal residents or U.S. citizens? Do you really want people to be so scared of interacting with local police that they fearful that they will be turned into ICE that they no longer? Are comfortable reporting crimes in our in? The neighborhoods. If there are violent criminals living amongst us, I trust that our local law enforcement is competent. Please come forward, uh, and everybody should line up right behind the speaker in front of them. Again, we've got Harry Wiggins, Cozy Bailey, Patrick Sowers, Alice Butler Short, and Rafi Ahmed. Uh, Harry Wiggins, 3525 Wooders End Trail, uh, Lake Ridge, Aquan District. Uh, I'm reading a statement of uh, State Senator Scott uh, Servell of the 36th uh, District. I'm very concerned about the, any policy that assists the federal government's change policy of conducting street sweeps and random stops at Prince William residence. I've confirmed that last Friday I stopped and detained 10 men uh, in a portion of the 36th district. Several of these men were U.S. citizens. One was a veteran. They were detained because of how they looked and the company they continued illegal and unconstitutional unconstitutional Soviet-style tactics will continue or perhaps be broadened to other people who do not look like Prince William County residents from the 70s. The concern for this behavior reaches well immigrant. Uh, as you know, eastern Prince William County is one of the most diverse communities in northern Virginia. I believe that diversity presents an opportunity to be cherished and leveraged to promote Prince William County as a place that welcomes people of all races, gender, religion, and sexual orientation and is open for business. Collaboration with these raids will undermine Prince William County's reputation, expose taxpayers to unnecessary little expense, and divide our community. Please think better and support Prince William County's newest residents instead of demonizing them. That's from State Senator Scott Servell, 36th District of Virginia. Uh, now my own statement, which will be very short. Uh, you know, we went through this in 2007, and um, I, I'm appalled that we're doing it again, that, uh, you know, Corey Stewart, running for governor, has to pull out all the stops when he's polling 8% to demonize, uh, essentially demonize Latinos. And last Tuesday, had this uh, press conference here in New McCord Building, standing alongside of uh, uh, Janine Lawson, who directs her own little hate group out there in Brentsville. 
and it's really appalling, and it degrades this county. And some of you, I think, really care about Prince William County. Some of you don't care that you're looking for other opportunities. Thank you.